Okay. We started at 7.30 this morning. We are almost at the end. Almost. Last session, um, we, uh, at the end of it, uh, the Prime Minister, which is supposed to arrive every minute, but you know, Prime Minister is a Prime Minister, uh, he will uh, conclude, and before this, uh, we will have the last session, uh, including the announcement of the just set up new uh, inter uh, Balvatnik Interdisciplinary uh, Cyber Research Center. And, and then we will hear the uh, Prime Minister, which I remind you all, um, it's the fourth international conference that we are doing here in Tel Aviv University. And he uh, gave uh, a talk in all four of them, all three previous ones. Um, uh, this shows something about the priorities that uh, uh, he has in mind and the high level of priority he devotes to, uh, to cyber security. I will uh, call the president of Tel Aviv University, I think it's the third time today that I'm calling him, to come and, and uh, talk. Professor Yosef Klafter, please come. Mr. Uzi Dayan, Chairman of the National Lottery with Alapais, Dr. Eviatar Matanya, Head of the Israeli National Cyber Bureau, Mr. Avi Fisher, Chairman and CEO of Klal Industries, the University Leadership, Professor Jacob Frankel, Chairman of the Board of Governors of the University, and Professor Aaron Shai, Rector of the University, and Professor uh, Isaac Itzhak Ben Israel, head of the new Blavatnik Interdisciplinary Cyber Research Center and of the Yuval Neiman Workshop. Distinguished speakers, participants, and guests. Thank you for joining us at one of the most important and influential annual events of Tel Aviv University. This year's conference comes in the wake of a difficult summer for Israel when the country's defense strategies including in the cybersphere, were sorely tested but prevailed. More than ever before, we need to nurture the best scientific talent, set up the most advanced labs, and strengthen links between academia, government, business, towards unified front guard uh, against cyber threats. Recognizing the vital importance of this area, international entrepreneur and philanthropist Len Blavatnik has established the Blavatnik Interdisciplinary Cyber Research Center here on campus. Tonight is the festive launch of the Blavatnik Center here in the presence of top leaders, practitioners, researchers, and students. And while Len is not here in person, I feel he is certainly here in spirit as we open a new chapter in cyber excellence at Tel Aviv University. The Blavatnik Center will uh, have wide and varied activities. It will draw on the university's, university's deep pool of scholars and experts to advance research and policy papers, disseminate findings, among the highest echelons of government and defense, train a new generation of cyber scientists and analysts, expand cooperation between the university and industry, and very importantly, educate the general public. The center's goal is to keep cybersecurity at the top of the national agenda and to position Tel Aviv University as a thriving go-to place for cyber innovation and knowledge in Israel and in the world. Now, the university has already a solid record 
in this field. We have hired more outstanding Israeli academic stars in cyber fields than other institutions. The university's breakthroughs have attracted partners such as the US Air Force, NATO, top Israeli intelligence and defense agencies, Tata Industries, Broadcom, and others. On the policy front, the university's Yuval Neeman workshop has been providing incisive reports to the Prime Minister, Defense Minister, IDF Chief of Staff, and many more decision makers and agencies for the last 12 years. And finally, in vote of confidence in this track record, the National Cyber Bureau at the Prime Minister's office selected Tel Aviv University as the site for a national cyber initiative and has committed major funding over the next five years towards this enterprise. Len Blavatnik has chosen to be a key partner in this venture. He has chosen to invest in our cyber research, but not only that. The Blavatnik Center is part of a $20 million Blavatnik initiative, which was announced last week by the Blavatnik Family Foundation, an initiative that will support drug development, computer science, student film production, and young faculty recruitment at Tel Aviv University over the next four years. We would like to recognize Len, who is a Tel Aviv University honorary doctor and a governor, for his passion for education, for his support of excellence and innovation, and mostly for his friendship towards Tel Aviv University and his strong belief in us. Thank you very much, Len. And now I would like to call to the stage Len Blavatnik's representative here tonight, Avi Fisher, who is, by the way, a Tel Aviv University law graduate and also serves, served as a faculty member, and he's also, I think, a governor, to accept a certificate on Len's behalf. Avi. Avi, before I read the certificate, I want to thank you very much for your pivotal role in uh, establishing this initiative of the Blavatnik family here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. And the certificate says, this is to witness that on the 14th day of September 2014, the Blavatnik Interdisciplinary Cyber Research Center was launched through the generosity of Len Blavatnik in the presence of Benjamin Netanyahu, Prime Minister of Israel, plus minus, he will come later, thereby strengthening Israel's national cyber initiative, creating a dynamic framework for generating up to the minute research and analysis by leading scholars and experts, preparing a new generation of cyber innovators and professionals to shape and lead the burgeoning cybersecurity field, fostering mutually beneficial cooperative ties between academy, industry, and government, and consolidating the national and international standing of Tel Aviv University as the principal hub for cyber knowledge and excellence in Israel. Signed by myself, Rector Aaron Shai, and Professor Yitzhak Isaac Ben Israel. Thank you very much, Yossi. I was asked to go on stage slowly to enable the Prime Minister to arrive. So I will, I will try to speak slowly. Uh, maybe we'll arrive during this speech. Anyhow, uh, President uh, Klefter, Tel Aviv University President, and my friend, 
my friend Professor Frankel, Professor Ben Israel, Dr. Matania, distinguished guests. Let me begin by saying that I am very much honored being here and even more honored to represent a good friend of mine and a person I truly admire and cherish, Mr. Len Blavatnik. We have a saying in Hebrew, en omrim shivcho shel adam befanav, which means you don't praise a man when he is present. So in this case, in these circumstances, Len could not make it, and therefore, I can take the liberty of saying a few words about him to you. Len is a role model for successful businessmen around the globe and a very warm-hearted individual who is devoted to the Jewish heritage and is a proud Zionist. Len, who is half a year younger than I am, succeeded to build in the last 30 years or so an empire, Access Industries, a global industrial group that has diversified activities around the, the globe. In his profession, by the way, Mr. Blavotnik is a software engineer, and therefore his first donation to Tel Aviv University was the computer school here. And he received later an MBA from Harvard, and most important, he is a believer, a man with clear vision in everything he does, and a fantastic businessman. Until recently, Len demonstrated his commitment to Israel and to Israeli society mainly in philanthropy and in very limited business activities. Since mid-2012, under his leadership as the chairman of, Access, of the Access Group, he invested more than 2.5 billion shekels to purchase 100% of Klal Industries one of Israel's most prominent and active industrial groups. Klal owns and leads companies such as Nesher, Hadera Paper, Golf, Klal Biotech, Bechemesh Engine, Jordan Valley. And just this week, we announced our renewed commitment to the Israeli high-tech industry with new investments in this field. In addition, Klal owns major stakes in companies such as Tavura, Yafora, Israel Shipyards, Med One, and others. We have the privilege and are responsible for around 15,000 Israeli households, not to mention subcontractors, service providers, advisors, and many others. Few of the top CEOs of Klal Industries are here with me today, Yohanan Locker, Ruven Krupik, and Daniel Chenal. Lens investment in Israel are very good news to the Israeli economy, especially at this time. But Len is not only a business, businessman. His philanthropy around the world is conducted by the Blavatnik Family Foundation. The foundation is a major sponsor in establishment such as Harvard, MIT in the US, and in the UK, the University of Oxford in which the, found, the fund donated in 2010 75 million pounds to the Blavatnik School of Government. It was one of the biggest donations ever given to, a, to Oxford University in its 900 years of existence. By the way, 90% of English prime ministers in the last 100 years graduated this school. Len is a longtime friend of the Tel Aviv University, and in a speech given here last year, he said, and I quote, Tel Aviv University has a distinguished tradition of excellence and achievements, and I am, de and I am delighted to help and support the next generation of scientific researchers and innovators in Israel. Len is extremely happy that this gift will be designated, among others, to a computer science research fund, to this cyber research center under Professor Ben Israel, and to the medical field, the Center for Drug Discovery. In his word, this initiative will help support the next generation of scientific researchers and innovators in Israel. In addition, a president's faculty recruitment discretionary fund that will allow Tel Aviv University to make competitive offers 
to talented researchers and bring them back home. Last but not least, as one cannot live without art and for our souls, the donation will create a student film production fund and industry which is very close to Lenshardt. By the way, one of the companies it controls is Warner Music. The fund will provide awards and enable undergraduates and graduate students to transfer, transform their ideas from the storyboard to the cinematic work. Let me tell you, and as Professor Klefter said, I am not uh, objective about this. I graduated just a few a hundred meters from here, and I was a teacher for several years. My wife graduated here and was a teacher also here, and my daughter graduated here. But I think it's safe to say that in Len's view, Tel Aviv University is on the right track to stand side by side with academic institutions such as Harvard, MIT, and Oxford. Len, as a businessman, believes that this donation will turn to be money well invested. Unfortunately, Len could not attend today, although he wished to very much be here due to a major event, tomorrow the Blavatnik Awards Ceremony for young scientists that will take place in New York, and I am very happy that Professor Klafter and Amos Elad will be there tomorrow. Finally, Len sends his warm greetings. I see that the Prime Minister did not arrive, but anyhow, I would like to thank him for giving the honor of his presence to this occasion today. Thank you very much, unless I have to prolong the plea. Thank you. We still have one talk before the Prime Minister, and that is uh, naturally of the head of the National Cyber Bureau, Dr. Riviata Matania, please. 